go. But yeah, now many of us have flown in the last few months, right? Most likely to get to the ship, okay? Now I live in Southern California. Do we have any Southern California folks? <laughs> Spread out, but they are here. Okay, very good. Well, we, uh, we live in Temecula. You're probably familiar with this, yeah? <laughs> they drink wine there. <laughs> it's like mini, mini Napa Valley down in Temecula. For Riverside folks here, they know where it is. Thanks for playing. But if you fly out of San Diego Airport, they have a big sign over security that says, no joking, please. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. Well, I'm not saying that I'm the reason for that. But when I travel, I like to go through security as quickly as possible. Now, I'll give you a tip. Wear as little as possible. <laughs> I wear a Speedo and flip-flops. I go right through. <laughs> let that one go. Let it, let it go. Sorry for that picture. Now, here's the thing. I'm going through one day. I'm in a hurry. I'm going to miss the flight. So they put everything through the conveyor. Then they want to take your picture. Nobody looks good like that. Then they want to do the pat-down. Have you had the pat-down? No. No. A few of you. Do you like it? No. <laughs> You're laughing. I love them. Really. I've got four kids. It's more attention than I get anywhere. <laughs> Well, let that let that one go too. Just go. So I'm going through this six foot two guy comes out. He says, "Put your foot in the footprints and spread them." <laughs> I'm like, "It's gonna be that day, isn't it?" And so I look over and everybody's watching. I'm like, "All right, let's have some fun." So he's patting me down. He gets right to the rear end. And I went. Hop it. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> what was that? I said, I don't know, went through security. <laughs> so he moves over, he's patting down this side, gets right to the rear end. He goes, let's go. You and me in the room. Come on. <laughs> Find that squeaky toy. <laughs> We're friends now, it's okay. <laughs> My grandfather always said, you can't laugh at yourself. Make fun of everybody else, right? <laughs> But he also said life is too short not to have a good time. Wouldn't you agree a little bit? <laughs> yes, you're on the Disney cruise in the Caribbean. Oh, come on now. Now, speaking of grandparents, do we have any grandparents here tonight? Yeah. Oh, four, five of you still awake. <laughs> Some of you are from the UK and it's like four in the morning right now. Okay, all right. So this next character is inspired by my grand... Oh, okay, he's sleeping. We'll give him just a second. <laughs> I did mention yesterday, I want to reiterate the fact that uh, some of us still have our grandparents around with us, and I want to encourage you to spend as much time as you can with them. Because my grandfather did get me started. I was nine years old. He told me if I got good enough at my craft, I could open for his magic show. So I was 13 when I did my first five minutes opening for his <laughs> show at an Elks Lodge in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> Scared to death, but the rest is history, and we've done a lot of things since. I'm going to wake him up. I think you'll like this guy. He's inspired by my grandfather. Harley, wake up. Huh? Oh, Harley, there's people out there. <laughs> Don't shake me. Right? Huh? Please stop it. My head is in there. Well, back up. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Just look up. He's exhausted. I'm a tired. <laughs> you don't do anything. And I'm good at it. <laughs> Right. So uh, we, we do a lot of cruising together, and interestingly enough, we were just on this cruise, we do a lot of the entertainers, you know, we do what they call back-to-back. -back. We were just on the previous cruise here, we had a very interesting experience. We went through uh, by Cuba, and they actually had so, a raft full of refugees. They were on their way to the great U.S. of A, and uh, we saw them. So it was our job to stop and see if they needed help. And of course they didn't. They kept saying, cigars! Cigars! Of course we can't take them. <laughs> But we did have to do our job to, to make sure that they were all right and render help if we needed. But they waved us off and we had to follow them for about three hours until the Coast Guard got there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you think the internet's expenses on the ship? You should see the bill that the refugees got when they got home from Disney. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Well, look, they were, they were following their hopes and their dreams and then fantasy came along and ruined it right there, didn't they? <laughs> Thanks for making this my last show. <laughs> Nonetheless, we were, we're, on, we're on a very exciting cruise going to the Virgin Islands. And there aren't any left, I checked. <laughs> no. What do you mean no? Not here. There aren't any here either? We don't have any. <laughs> Look, I know we don't have children here, but we still need to keep it Disney friendly. 
It's a good thing they took the kids out. He loves children. Can't stand them. <laughs> what is your issue with children? They're too simple nowadays. I blame that on children's television. Like that waste of time, Dora the Explorer. I love that show. What was that? Matilda. Kill it. <laughs> it's a great show. They teach you English and Spanish. And they have that real complicated song on there. It goes like this. I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map. <laughs> and that is the whole thing right there. I wish I'd have thought of that song. I wouldn't be here with you. <laughs> when I was a kid, they had simple songs. Like the one that goes, Simper califragilistic ex dialidosis. You may think that I smell bad, but it's my halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> really? They need to get all the kids those Healy shoes, you know, with the wheels on them, send them to deck 12. <laughs> Let them go in circles. <laughs> Till little Johnny goes, under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. Harley. Life is much better now that I'm wetter wearing Healy's. Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> Please stop. What? The ladies' man? Yes, I am. <laughs> you could have dressed up. Yeah, I could have. I'm tired. Do what I want, when I want. As long as I want. Right. Yeah, how about that? Retired, aren't you? Yeah. Or are you just not doing anything at all? <laughs> all right. You could have at least put a better shirt on. You're like I didn't wear the shirt I got in St. Thomas. It says, surrender the booty. <laughs> Hey, aren't you a little old to be wearing shirts like that? Reminds me of the Toby Keith song. I'm not as good as I once was, but I've got a good imagination. <laughs> we don't want to know what's going on in your head, okay? <laughs> Trust me. What? You're the only one that knows what's going on in my head. Okay, thanks for breaking down the fourth wall. Look at the ladies thing on the toy. Let's play. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, have another drink. <laughs> I can't do a whole lot. We go to stomach. <laughs> Don't check me. I'll let another one go. <laughs> I ruin this whole section right here. Harley, I noticed when I took you out of the trunk, you still have tags on your clothes. I have to take them back on Saturday. <laughs> you don't buy clothes wearing to take them back. Sure you do. Ask the ladies. <laughs> now listen to them. Half the stuff you see here tonight is going back to Florida. <laughs> it's a Walmart way. The Walmart way. I used to work there. I was a greeter. <laughs> Laugh it up, lady. You'll be there someday. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. How did that work out for you? I got fired. You get fired as a greeter? What was your attitude? No, it was a gas issue. <laughs> Laugh it up, buddy. You'll be there someday. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Oh, Charlie. Okay, I'm going to regret this, but you were standing by the front door. Well, the cop in the toy aisle crop dusting the kids. <laughs> you know you do it. <laughs> That's why they call us old farts. <laughs> You've been fired from almost every job you've had. Except one. <laughs> Which was? The Sun Sweet Prune Juice Company. <laughs> <laughs> you worked for the Sun Sweet Prune Juice Company. I had to quit that job. The hours are too irregular. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. <laughs> I was a taste tester. We're one day on and three days off. <laughs> okay, you don't need a visual. He didn't have a very good upbringing either. No, my dad and I didn't get along so well. I was eight years old before I saw my first real city, and we grew up in a small town. And for the holidays, Dad took us down to the city, and I looked at this skyscraper. I'm like, what is that? He said, I don't know. Let's go in. And we did. And in the lobby, he saw this strange looking closet door had lights all around it, sliding door. Sounds like an elevator. We didn't know that. 
We saw an elderly woman in a wheelchair who up there, pushed the button, went inside and disappeared. <laughs> we waited ten minutes. The doors opened up and a 24-year-old woman come walking out of there. <laughs> she was hotter than donut grease. <laughs> I'd have drank her bath water. <laughs> My eyes are like golf balls. I'm like, Dad, look at that. He says, yeah, go get your mom. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, not a nice guy. I was 10 years old and walked into his room and said, Dad, I'm running away. What do you say? Put it in writing. <laughs> and then I got a stepdad and called him faux pas. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Okay, like I said, we do a lot of cruising. What is your favorite thing about this cruise? The women. <laughs> yeah! Listen to them, I love that. There are a lot of good looking women on this cruise. A couple of ugly ones, too. <laughs> well, they know who they are. <laughs> what did your wife think about that? Late wife. Late wife? I didn't know she passed. No, she missed the cruising. Working out of... <laughs> I'm kidding, she ran off with my cousin. She, she ran off with your cousin? I'm sorry to hear that. Me too, I'm gonna miss that guy. <laughs> it wasn't a very good relationship. No, she was a talker. She'd talk all day long, yick yick yick, nothing to say, just nag, nag, nag. Even in bed. And I'll tell you what, ladies, there are two things your man wants to do in bed, and talking ain't one of them. <laughs> I'm laying there asleep one night and she nudges me and says, Honey, if I died, would you remarry? And I said, No, ma'am. I went back to sleep. She nudges me and says, Are you sure you wouldn't? I said, Maybe I would. Would that be so bad? And she says, Would you live in the same house? I said, Yes, I would. Love this house. And she says, Would you let her drive my car? And I said, Yes, ma'am. It's a good car. Kind of a new car, actually. Then she says, Would you let her use my golf clubs? I said, no ma'am, she's left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gone. <laughs> okay, I think we should move along. You know what I like most about the cruise? Uh, eating, look at that thing. <laughs> look like a boa constrictor's hauling a guitar. <laughs> okay, you wanna talk about you some more? How about when you do some internet dating? Internet, not on the cruise. I checked my email earlier. That was $692 later. <laughs> Plus the internet, they're spying on you. Who's spying on you? It's in your email. Nobody's <laughs> spying on you through your email. Well, how do they know I need Viagra? <laughs> I get that thing three times a day. <laughs> That's spam. What? That's spam. No, I like spam. Little pineapple even Carnival Cruise, it served spam. <laughs> You didn't read that story? Look, let, it, let, it, let it go. Let it go. All right, forget about it. I will say, though, about the food. We were talking. Isn't the food fantastic on this cruise? Oh, yes. Yeah.